commentary with the following images includes excerpts from sources listed and credit the publisher or current claimant. Toward the end of the 1960s, Chrysler Corporation, its Plymouth and Dodge cars, and Dodge trucks was not able to fully recover its rising materials and labor costs. As a result of financial troubles and a loss in net earnings in 1970, Chrysler announced a reduction in the number of models it would offer to 123 in 1970 and down to 81 models by 1972. This dropped further by 1974 to 75 models. These reductions were made primarily by dropping some intermediate and full-sized cars. The market shift to smaller cars carrying smaller margins became permanent. From 1970 to 1975, Chrysler increased its production capacity for compact cars by 60%. The resulting 1 million units represented 60% of Chrysler's total capacity. 1971 would be the final year for Chrysler's famed 426 cubic inch Hemi V8 engine and its triple carbureted 446 pack engine rather than detune the engines to meet federal emissions and fuel guidelines. Chrysler also retired the 300 nameplate and ceased convertible production at the end of the 71 model year. The slow selling 300 series was essentially replaced by the base New Yorker series which itself was replaced by the New Yorker Brahms series. The Newport Royal line would be discontinued at the end of the 1972 model run after a brief two-year run. All Chrysler models for 1972 received a major facelift. The basic fuselage style bodies introduced for the 1969 model year were retained, but nearly all of the sheet metal was redesigned. During this period, Chrysler's management considered one of its company's strengths as its reputation for good engineering and underscored this with the introduction in 1973 of electronic ignition as standard equipment on all its new cars, eliminating points and condensers from the ignition system. Also in this time period, Chrysler redesigned its big Plymouths, Dodges and Chryslers completely for the 1974 model year. However, that was the year in which everyone decided either to buy small cars or not to buy at all due to the energy crisis. The Plymouth Barracuda and the Dodge Challenger were discontinued after the 1974 model year. Also, the last Imperial by Chrysler rolled off the line in June of 1975. Chrysler's concentration on the compact car segment paid off in 1974 when combined sales of Valiant and Dart captured nearly 40% of the domestic compact market. By 1975, Chrysler had captured 20% of the market for Class II trucks, and its line of compact vans and wagons held 37.5% of their market. In model year 1976, much depended on the acceptance of the specialty compacts, the Dodge Aspen and the Plymouth Volari. When they were introduced, AMC's Hornet was the only U.S.-built wagon in that size class. The Plymouth Volari quickly became the nation's best-selling wagon and kept that position through the 1976 and 1977 model years.